guys, um, back with um, back on the swing gate to try and just finish this one off. As is, as you can see, I've got the wheel on there now. now this wheel is uh, spring loaded on the side, which I'll show you what it will do when there's weight on it. But just to show you how easier it is to uh, close the gate with the wheel. So the wheel will take the weight of the whole swing gate. So that's when it's in uh, closed. Now to open it up. So the wheel does make a big difference. So I'll take a close up of the wheel and I'll show you what I mean by the so now side. I'll just wait on this swing gate and then you'll see the wheel sort of go sideways with the spring loaded system inside it. So if I now add weight to it, you can see how that's so if it, if it was too far down, then I know I'm too heavy on the gate, but that's a lot of pressure to have on the gate, which I, I won't have that much pressure. So that's what the wheel looks like. So now what I'm going to do guys is to, to have to raise it above the swing gate so I can get to the top level and the middle level. Now what I'm going to use is a piece, piece of timber which is 90 by 35. Now I'm going to cut that in half. Which will give me a total the timber will be 35 millimetres high in height and 45 millimetres in width which in reality will will sit like that but this is this is not the 35 mil timber I'm using, this is 45, so it looks a bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is screw these on top of the gate. And then on top of that wood, I will be putting another 35 by 45 on top. Which will go something like this. And then the chipboard will be flush to here. And I hope I'll just leave one here too. So once I put the, these down, then I can get this lower deck done. And then the higher deck, I'm going to do exactly the same as what I've done on the around the whole layout. Well, that's the plan. So if that works, oh, well, that's looking really good. So I've got to see how sturdy it's going to look this way. So if it doesn't work, I'll change my mind and do something else. So what I'll do now is I'll go cut me proper timber. So it'll only be 35 millimetres high. Because I've got to go, I've got to go to 70 mil high on that bottom level, so 235s make 70 with the ply board on top. So I'll go ahead and cut my timber. Okay guys, now I've cut the right so size timber. Like. Now this is the 35mm by 45mm pine. Now all I've got to do is screw these in to the aluminium top. And then what will happen is I have another 35mm which will sit up like so. And that will match the top of that first plywood. So
So I'll go ahead and screw all them in now. Okay guys, the first tip is on, screwed in. I also use these screws, which are metal screws. 65 millimetres long, just so it could go into the aluminium bar. So the next part now is to put the the other stringers or beams on top which will go like so at least these ones I can only, I only have to use the normal screws so that's what she looks so far I'll go ahead and do that and then show you Okay guys, at the end of that, all the timbers now being screwed on top. All I've got to do is now put the chipboard, I mean the ply board, on this bottom level to match that and that one. And I've just got to build the frame for the top level and chipboard. So, so far so good. Swings out alright, the wheel's holding up. So, so far so good. I'll show you when I put the top level on. Okay guys, now I've got the second level board down now. Just marked it with a text uh, just to see if I get any any movement. It's all going back to the same mark. Uh, so I'll carry carry on with the go eyes on the uprights are in for the top level. The, front, the frame has also been made, I've just got to put it on, we'll see if she fits. So I'll go ahead and put it all on. Okay guys, I've just, we'll see what she looks like. Clamped me top level on the swing gate, but I am having a problem closing. As you can see, get to that part there and she's hitting the wall so what I'm thinking of doing first because that's me where it's hitting so I'm thinking of taking this board off first because I might not need it but I might put it back up here that seems to be the problem so I'll take that board off anyway and we'll see if the clearance actually Okay works. guys, I fixed the problem. Now the problem I was having was these beams here, because I had them on the outside to the aluminium bar, that was causing me the problem. So by putting these back in, that's fixed the problem. So now she'll close. So I'm really happy about that one. So I'll go ahead and put the um, last bit of ply board on and I'm just going to brace brace these so, so there's no movement left or right. So I'll brace it, put the ply board on and then it's more or less finished. Okay guys, I'm going to call this a wrap, wrap it up and say it's finished other than the cosmetics part of it. I've got a bit of a gap. Another bit of a gap, the same on that side, the braces are now on, she won't go left or right now. And the cable swings out good, 
The wheel's still standing up, so that's one good thing. In the back of it. So now I can get back to stage two, which is out in the centre. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.